Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. How come every time there's a problem, you end up running to me? You're a Spectre, Shepard. And this isn't some run-of-the-mill mission. There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Synthetic intelligence is a dangerous technology, Admiral. VI support is critical to our military success. They process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. But as advanced as this thing is, that military strategy is still just a VI. It's not self-aware, and it's completely disengaged from any networks. That's where you come in. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps, and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium.
action. I think we got him, Commander.
Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Seeing the ward stretching out before you really makes you appreciate the Citadel as a true wonder of Prothean engineering. Ten hut! At ease. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. Admiral, I'm on urgent business with the Citadel. Is there something you need? Let's get one thing clear, Shepard. You might be a specter to the aliens, but to me you're just another junior officer. Be respectful. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship, and you. I wasn't keen on it either, but there are advantages to being above the law. Don't let the title go to your head. No one's above the law. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. This ship has saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. Normandy is an Alliance warship, but she's on loan to the Citadel. That means she's not in your chain of command. I believe there's something wrong with my ears. Did you just contradict me? No, sir. Just pointing out our peculiar legal situation. You're welcome to look around, but this can't be considered a formal inspection. You've got a smart mouth, Commander. Fine. This visit will be off the record. A courtesy tour. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. Sounds like a fairly common situation. Commander, I suggest you secure your mouth. It's going to get you in trouble. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? There are no amateurs on this crew. They know to keep idle chatter minimized during combat. And I can bellow with the best DIs. A fair point. I suppose the design has no chance of becoming standard. No need to worry about a generation of recruits learning things pass backwards. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. 
You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. Men of limited vision said the same thing about early aircraft, submarines, and tanks. There's two ways I could take that, Commander, but that is true. I suppose the early U-boats weren't much better. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. I'm Normandy's commanding officer. The regs state I have the authority to say who does and doesn't come aboard. If you disagree, send a complaint up the chain of command. Sophistry, Commander. You know I'm right. You want them on board that bad? Fine. Don't quote regs at me. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? We showed the Council something they hadn't thought of with our fighter carriers. You may disapprove of Normandy, but she's just another way we're outthinking them. That assumes Normandy's technologies can become practical in the future. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I'd planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle and his cultists refused to surrender and were killed in the resulting firefight. Commander Shepard? Police have been seen in Aljilani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human Spectre? We all know it should have happened years ago. I hope the Council realizes that we won't sit at the kids' table forever. Some believe that without firm action on our part, the Council will continue to treat us like poor relations. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? The Normandy is a triumph of human engineering. Like our development of fighter carriers, it shows other races that we're able to think outside the box. That's gratifying. Many defeatist officers claim that the Alliance can't compete with the naval power of, say, the Turians. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? The Normandy has only been loaned to the Citadel. It's a legal technicality that allows me to use her in my new role as Spectre. So this was only to help you in your new job working for the Citadel? Miss Algelani, I wear the Alliance uniform, and if you think anyone other than me says where the Normandy can go, you're sadly mistaken. No offense intended, Commander. I'm sure you have to follow the orders of your superiors. Of course, now your superiors are aliens. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? And for a long time, the Council sat on their hands with regard to Saren. I have to wonder where their thumbs were. Strong words. It's a good time for strong words. Hold on. It's pretty clear you have an agenda here. I'm not going to be a part of it. Excuse me. You can't just walk away, Commander. The public has a right to know. Isn't it true you're just a shill for the Council? I've had enough of your snide insinuations.
You bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Your career is over. Did you know Citadel Security is the largest multi-species law enforcement agency in Council space? It was the Turians who first suggested creating a single organization to maintain order on the Citadel. Perhaps that is why more than half the force is Turian. So you've spent your entire adult life just studying old Prothean junk? Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. is truly magnificent. Most Prothean architecture I see is in ruins. The sheer size of this place is overwhelming. Remarkable. Nature and technology combined in one elegant hall. I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau Cluster. The Council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. This isn't a game, Ambassador. Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Council's watching you, and we all get judged on how you behave. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. You said you had a job offer. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on the cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. You want me to hunt down the people who killed her? This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. You can't negotiate with criminals. It's too late. I transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. Why would they put you in jail? You're the victim here. Government representatives on the Citadel are not allowed to negotiate with terrorists. It's too dangerous. Paying a ransom would only encourage more kidnappings. I support the law in theory, but when I got the message, all I could think about was Dahlia's safety. 
I doubt they would actually send me to prison for what I did, but they would strip me of my post, and Dalia would still be in the hands of the slavers. You got in over your head and you expect me to pull you out? This is easy money for you, Shepard. I've already found her. You just need to bring her back. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a Spectre. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. Anything you can tell me about the mercs you have your sister? Pretty much what you'd expect. Rough, dangerous, and well-armed. Nothing a Spectre cannot handle, though. How'd you find out who was behind the ransom? I have resources. Contacts and credits can go a long way. Especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already broke the law when I paid the ransom. This couldn't make things any worse. I got more important things to do than track down your sister. You're the only one I can turn to, Shepard. Besides, I've already transmitted the coordinates to your ship. Please, just see what you can do. I'll be waiting here when you're done. to see this Krogan monument removed, but it is important to remember our history, even if those memories make us uncomfortable. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Tell me what my husband would want. I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Is this man harassing you, ma'am? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. 
It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? 1 in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that 1 in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. For what it's worth, I think you should consider undergoing the therapy. I don't care what you think. Who are you anyway? It's my child. It's my decision. You've already lost your husband. Are you going to let your grief endanger the baby too? I had to watch Jacob die. I can't risk causing the death of my child as well. Your husband's death wasn't your fault. But if you refuse the therapy, your child's death could be. Don't you understand? I can't lose this baby. This... This is all I have left of him. And you and that baby are all I have left of Jacob. I can't lose you. Either of you. Not after this. Then why didn't you just say that instead of yelling at me? I was scared. I'm sorry. If it means that much to you, if you trust that it's the right thing, I'll do the therapy. Thank you so much. Uh, I guess we needed an outside person to talk some sense into both of us. This statue shows how well the Protheans blended function and form. The mass relays were not only their greatest technological achievement, but also inspiration for beautiful works of art. Biotics are pretty powerful. Are all Asari that strong? While the Asari have natural biotic abilities, not all have the desire to learn to use their abilities effectively. All that power and some Asari don't use it? You could have conquered the galaxy if you wanted to. and the fountain naturally blend with the arches of the tower. They have done a masterful job of capturing the aesthetic values of the Protheans. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's... dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. False hope doesn't do anybody any good. Maybe. But sometimes I think false hope is better than no hope at all. Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral.
Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. What do you want me to do? I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Think of all the important decisions the Council has made right here. Trillions of lives hanging on their every word and deed. It's awe-inspiring. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander, any word on my missing men? I found them. Well, what was left of them. They ran into a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance Beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crews found him, frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel. The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? They were scouting the system we found Baines' ship in. I don't have time for this. You've already done enough, Shepard. The rest is up to me.
again. Is there a problem? I'm not detecting any signals from the bug yet. I planted the bug. If you aren't getting a signal, they must have found it. But I never got a signal. They couldn't have found it that quickly. Are you calling me a liar? No. No, of course not. Here, this is what I was going to pay you. Thanks for trying anyway. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go talk to my publishers about finding another story. They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. An impatient soldier. Who are you and why are you in my way? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. The vids never tell the whole story. So, what can I do for the Reds? One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. What was this guy arrested for? Some stupid minor offense. Maybe he had a little red sand. You know how the Turians are. They declared him a problem, and they're shipping him back for a trial. You're not asking me to break Wiseman out of jail, are you? Of course not. But word has it you've got some pull with the aliens. All we're asking you to do is pull a little for us. What was one of the 10th Street Reds doing in Turian space? Since your days, the Reds have expanded. We do some salvage, a little shipping here and there, that kind of thing. I'll talk to the Turian and see what I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I knew you'd remember your old friends. The guard's over in Korra's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. Everyone here seems so busy, so rushed. I wonder if they are happy. I am not used to this kind of environment. Too much time working by myself, I suppose. How could anyone live here? There are just so many people. Asari are more accepting of our sexuality than most other species. Some club owners like to exploit this by hiring us as dancers. Go away. Let me let me drink it. You've got a prisoner named Kurt Wiseman. I'd like that prisoner freed. I'd like a lot of things, human. Desire forms the foundations of organized society. That said, the xenophobe will remain in Turian custody. This is not negotiable. I'd rather not have to kill all your guards to free this man. Why do you want this criminal released? Is it part of your mission, or are you just helping another human? I'm a specter. I don't answer to you. Release Wiseman now. The Council should have known the humans were not ready for the authority of the specters. <laughs> the prisoner will be released. Turian people at least respect the rule of law. What crime did Wiseman commit? He attempted to poison medical cargo being sent to a Turian colony to treat an outbreak of a dangerous disease. 
If he'd succeeded, millions would have died. This human is a dangerous xenophobe. Why are you calling him a xenophobe? The human acknowledges affiliation with several anti-alien organizations. His crime specifically targeted Turians as a species. It was a hate crime and will be treated as such at his sentencing. What sentence is Wiseman likely to receive? Considering that he attempted to commit a xenophobic hate crime, I would expect him to receive a lifetime imprisonment. Thanks for the information. One of Wiseman's friends was less than honest with me. I understand. Weissman was too well supplied to be acting alone. Thank you for the information. We'll increase the guard in his cell. I knew you'd rat us out, Shepard. Now it's payback time. When we're through telling our story, the aliens will all know what the first human specter really is. My bio is public record. Everyone knows I ran with gangs as a kid. They don't know that the Reds target aliens specifically. We've got the backers to handle off-world missions. Your alien friends won't like you so much when they hear what your gang did. What do you want, Finch? What gets you out of my life? What do I want? I want aliens off of Earth. I want the Council to stay out of humanity's business. The 10th Street Reds was a gang, not an Earth First movement. They're a human movement now. You think the Vids will make that distinction? I can find a dozen Reds who'll swear they saw you kill aliens for fun. <laughs> Who's going to believe you then? You think I care what the aliens think of me, Finch? But this is your career! You'd throw it all away like that? I can legally execute everyone in this bar. You think the Council cares about my shady past? The Spectre has overcome a troubled youth to lead a proud military career. The Turians would not care about such things. And I doubt your lies would fool the Salarians or the Asari. Fine, Shepard, you're right. You're not one of the Reds. Maybe you never were. That man is a xenophobe who thinks he can blackmail a Spectre. You should have killed him. I didn't need target practice. Don't you have a prisoner to guard? Goodbye, human. It'll be interesting to see what kind of specter you turn out to be. You never leave the life. If you won't help us, we'll drag your name through the dirt. Your alien friends will revoke your specter status. You'll be nothing. Unless you're willing to pay, say, 500 credits. What I'm doing is too important to be derailed by someone like you, Finch. Impressive. Perhaps the first human Spectre will not be a disappointment after all. Goodbye, Spectre. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Remember me? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Right, Conrad. We talked a while back. You remember me? Wow. Guys must try to talk to a lady like, like you all the time, but you remember me. That really means something. Hey, can I get your picture? Uh, sure. No problem. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it.
this is an approval purchase. It's a bank statement. It shows that I bought something from you when I bought it. Well, thank you for buying from me, but this still doesn't prove that you purchased that item from my store. But I didn't buy anything else here! How do I know that? If you don't have the proof of purchase, I can't help you. But... Sorry. Seems the owner didn't like the way you played their games. Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. But you were cheating, were you not? I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. I'll help you out. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Happen out in the open like that. Neither could he. The CSEC agent said there has been an increase in violent crimes in this area lately. Did he say why? No, he kind of skirted the issue. It's those damn humans, if you ask me. They're not all bad, they're just different, mostly. I don't like them. They all act like they've been living here forever. The Citadel is ours. Why is the music in these places always so loud? It almost seems as if the people here want an excuse not to talk to each other. Huh. Places like this always want to hire Krogan bouncers. It's like we're a status symbol for them. Hey there, welcome to Flux. I'll be right over. Uh, take a seat, someone will be with you soon. and see someone getting as lucky as you.
your luck seems unnatural, human. I need to speak with you a moment. You've got the same device Shells had earlier. Did he give it to you, or did you take it from him? Never mind. It doesn't matter how you got it. But I can't let you keep it. I'm not hurting anyone. Don't make a scene, Commander. I've already recovered the credits you won. Now, I suggest you stick to playing the game fairly, or... Not at all. I'm watching you. No more tricks, or you'll be out on your ass, too. So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? Here you go. I hope it's what you're looking for. Excellent indeed. This will provide me with invaluable data. You enjoy those winnings. I'm gonna get the system completed. Tell me, who'd win in a fight between you and Shepard? Do Krogan size up everyone for a fight? Even friends and allies? Yes. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. What do you say we head down to Cora's den after shift? Sounds good. Some of the others are going for Novio's farewell thing. Damn, I forgot that was today. Where's he going again? Novaria. Apparently, they've got a huge demand for corporate security. Novaria? Isn't that the frozen planet? Yeah, ugh, I wouldn't go, but I guess the pay's pretty good. Huh. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many Council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible.
further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. The brass isn't happy with the way you treated her. This comes straight from the Joint Military Command. I don't have the patience to deal with tabloid gadflies who think they're great journalists. Commander, if she had done that at a bar, she'd go home in an ambulance. But they want me to make this clear. We can't mistreat the press. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Cerberus. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me.